Congratulations, Greg, on the show. I got to watch a few episodes last oh, night. Oh, good. Quite enjoyed them. So, oh, good. I'm glad. I hope you. Don't, I don't always get to say that, but but I I, I mean it this time. Oh, uh, good. Well, that's good. I'm <laughs> glad you didn't have to lie to me. <laughs> so, um, where tell me a little bit about the genesis of this idea? I mean, it seems quite topical uh, with a lot of sort of COVID stuff in there. Uh, what was the genesis for the idea and and writing the show? Yeah, well, so I had a kind of a bit of an idea about somebody that got released from prison after like a unjust mandatory minimum drug charge and they were entering the world later in life and trying to figure things out. And then when COVID hit and I saw that people were getting released from prison early because of the virus, I was like, well, this is a perfect opportunity to really flesh this out and do something with it. So so from that germ, I, I kind of really fleshed out this world and figured out a story to tell of these people and threw in some elements of Robin Hood in there of punishing bad people and giving back to good people and all that fun stuff that I like to write towards. And, and Garrett was somebody that I've been trying to work with always. And, uh, and so, you know, I wrote it for him and, and, and we went from there. Yeah. So talk, I mean, I, I, I know you worked with Garrett and Martha previously, what was it about these two people that you wanted to bring them together again? Well, at the time that I wrote it, Martha wasn't available. She was under contract somewhere else. And uh, and but Garrett was somebody that I specifically wrote this for. And he's an executive producer on the show. And and people read it. They're like, oh, so you wrote this role for Martha. I was like, no, Martha's not available. And and Martha joined us later in the process. And uh, and so I guess it turned out I did actually write. This role. <laughs> I just didn't realize it at the time but uh having them back on set together i mean we've all remained friends there wasn't it wasn't that long before we shot this that we were all in my backyard socially distancing you know hanging out with each other so it's not like we ever lost contact or anything with each other but uh but just being back on set with that that team i'd worked with them both individually um since raising hope but not together uh, there was certainly uh, some concern. We wanted to make sure that people didn't see Bert and Virginia on the screen, which, you know, I'm sure some people will have a hard time getting over that. But hopefully we can we can get them past it. And certainly her look and her character and his character, they're they're different people. But but the chemistry is still there, which was which was great to see. Yeah, no, it's very funny. And I, I like all the little things that I found very amusing. Um, do you have. Like what what to you was like one of the funnier, you know, moments or or jokes that you've had uh in the first oh, season? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, that's hard for me to say. That's like saying which of your children do you like yeah. best? Which isn't actually easy for me to answer, but I'm not gonna <laughs> Um, but but no, I, you know, for me it's always the it's the smaller things. It's the smaller things that that I hope people catch, but if they don't catch, but a lot of times like people are like, oh, I watched it again and I caught so many because we do try to make it dense. Right. We try to have things going on in the background or just little subtle things that like if you catch it, it's hilarious. If you don't catch it, it doesn't like there'll be another more obvious joke coming in a second. So it's not the end of the world. But like even like um, when Martha in the pilot says that uh, there's a toilet paper shortage and she ruined a perfectly good oven mitt last night. And then that's a joke in, in and of itself. But then when she serves a casserole, you, if you look close enough, she's got a, a oven mitt and then she's got a baseball mitt, you know, so <laughs> like she wasn't lying, you know, and she puts it down. Now I've watched it with people that die laughing as soon as they see the, 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 of the baseball mitt and i've watched it with people that are like i'll ask them later i'm like you didn't laugh they're like i didn't see that and then they watch it the second time and then they laugh so it's like those are my favorite moments to me that the, the obvious jokes are the jokes and people laugh hopefully they like them but it's the it's the little things we put in something in the background something small that uh that i like the best yeah yeah do you have a favorite scene from the season Oh, I don't know. It's, they all blend together. I mean, that was that was a 61 days of shooting. Uh, whatever <laughs> scene took the shortest to shoot. That's my that's my favorite. <laughs>